box. Yes. At the same oh, time. Wait. Work together and lift up the box. Okay. Those kids' reactions, when I saw that video, I was cracking up because it there was like, so in the beginning that they were just like, they had, I'm pretty sure they were so clueless as to what the heck was in that box until they took the box out and boom, that surprise just like hit them so hard that they started to cry, like of, of happiness, of joy and stuff like that, you know? Uh, but not all surprises end up with crying because you're excited or you're happy. There's certain surprises where, where you're just crying like, damn, I was like so upset. Like they saw it as a surprise and I'm seeing it as totally opposite. Sometimes life throws us these curveballs that they're, they're not a goal. They're not, they're not always going to result in, in us being so like, oh God, it's always so little doggy. You know, I, this is exactly what I wanted, you know? And that's what I want to talk about today. Surprises that just come out of nowhere that not necessarily lead in a good reaction, sometimes in a bad reaction, or sometimes you just don't know what to do in these situations. But before we get into it, let's get into this break. Get it. <laughs> back people um another episode of be creative be great and it, it's been a while you know what i mean it's just i got a lot going on i got a lot of surprises that have happened and um i haven't been as consistent as i wanted to be but uh that's the reason why, why, why i'm doing this video because i i thought a good story could come out of it and um i just want to go straight to the point i'm gonna try to try to get there and, and just get to where i want to get to which is talking about surprises as I was talking about earlier, you know what I mean? Like some, sometimes these, these surprises, they're like unbelievable. You, life throws you these curveballs that you're like, holy cow, like what am I supposed to do here? So in just recently, I had a situation that happened in my life and um, it's actually about my dad. I don't talk about it uh, too much. Um, just people who are close in my life, but um. I thought I'd share it with you guys because it might be a blessing to, to those who are watching this right now. But um, So my dad has been missing in my life for so many years. Despite us talking over the phone, maybe for a few minutes, um, it's, it's not the same. So my dad has been missing for, for, for years in my life. And, you know, I, I can only recall good memories. He, you know, he wasn't a bad dad. He just wasn't there for you know a long period of time in, in in my life you know when i was growing up as a teenager and and a young adult and stuff but you know now there's this big surprise that happened in my life and sometimes in your mind you're thinking about these things and you're like you know what i mean like i wish things were you know a certain way or i wish you know a, a god can can just you know fix certain things or or just bring clarity on on certain stuff and um Sometimes we ask for these things and we think that it's going to be presented to us a specific way, like a certain way. It's going to be presented in, in what we think it should be, but it doesn't always happen that way. We get surprises where it's like we got those good reactions like those kids. And then we have those not so good reactions, which is we're like stuck in the middle somewhere where we don't even know how to react because we're such in a shock. And um, that's where I've been lately because as my dad has entered into my life again, it's been like, boom, it's there. It's like, okay, like, how do we, how do we connect again? How do we, how do we speak? You know, how do we have our conversations? You know what I'm saying? How do we, you know, go about certain stuff that now you're, you're, you're back into my life. You're, you're, you're not a phone call away now. Now you're physically with me. So it's it's been challenging, but but I've been 
I've been so thankful to God that he's allowed this this surprise to happen um because I'm, I'm actually learning a lot of new things you know my, my approach on things is a little bit different and and I thank God that it happened at the right time because if, if I didn't have Christ in my life my approach would have probably been totally different so what what I want to get to with this I don't want to get too much into details but you know just imagine somebody not being there in your life um and just all of a sudden reappearing back into your life without you really like expecting it like it, it came so unexpected you know through 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 a situation a not so good situation and and you 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 felt the need that you had to like get in there somehow to 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 resolve you know the issue but you know you you find yourself in a place where it's like damn like how do i go about this like what do i do and this is what life does like life doesn't prepare you you know what i mean like for certain things life doesn't prepare you to 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 be a husband you know life doesn't show you how to be a, a father life doesn't show you you know what i mean that that you're gonna you know be born into this world and and you're gonna you know not have your 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 dad with you you know for a certain amount of time like you're not prepared for these things but we have to be ready we have to we we, we have to em embrace these things and and just go through it as they come because they're not always going to come the way we want it to come and and you know what i mean like life is isn't always going to give you all these great things in your hand and you're not going to open up this big box and it's going to be a nice little cute dog sometimes life is going to throw you all sorts of things that are going to build your character they're there to, to build your character and they're also there to take out certain things in you that you didn't realize were still there that that needed to, to be fixed or or you needed some clarity on it and and that's what i wanted to to get to today i wanted to get to that point that not necessarily just get into detail about you know the situation with my dad but i i thought i just give you like a, a, a different perspective uh, uh to life and to you know certain things that happen that are so unexpected and um um like my situation and i thought i share it with you guys because i thought it might be a blessing to to those who are watching and listening to you know to, to those who have the, these these young men who have grown up with without their dads you know what i'm saying maybe grew up with their stepfathers i have an awesome stepfather you know uh, a shout out to him you know it's been a blessing in my life but you know it's 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 not the same when you're growing up you know you're just a young kid and you're trying to you know find out like what what is it like you know what's going on here and then you know god happened god entered into my life changed my perspective on things prepared me for certain things but and then it, it you know it 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 prepared me spiritually to a point where this now happens and i have to now apply what i've received you know during that gap that time that that i've been you know without my my physical biological father there you know present with me it's it's build I, I had to i was going through through like a campground there you know what i mean where i was just learning and and a, a lot of tears a, a lot of a lot of growing you know what i mean a lot of things a lot of questions and you know the questions i was just always presenting them before god and and i want to tell you to do the same thing that if you're going through a situation that, that, that if, if, if life throws you this curveball and you have no idea what to do, present it before God and ask God to, to help you and guide you and lead you through it. Because most of the time, there's always something in there where God wants to release a, a, a message, release a word to you to take you into another season in your life. Sometimes we stay stuck in these specific seasons because we're so drowning ourselves with, with what happened and what could have been but you know when we're supposed to you know embrace these seasons and, and figure out like Lord God what do you what do you want to do through this moment where do you want to take me at this moment of my life you know this happened this happened this trial I'm going through this trial but what is there from for me to learn from it where is there what what, what is there for me to to to, to take in from there and grow from it. So if, if you're watching this right now, you know, and and 
I don't know, you know, if, if, if you feel impacted by it, you know what I mean? If you feel God is, is speaking to you in a, in, in a, in a different, in a different way, uh, through this video, just share it, like it, subscribe to, to the channel. You know, it's, it's not just about, you know, gadgets and technology, you know, it's, it's just a mix of a bunch of things just in the creative world because, uh, uh, through, through videography and through, you know, music and stuff, we can express ourselves a certain way, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we can express ourselves and get some type of message across and, and that's what I want to I wanna do through this. I, I don't just want to keep it geared to one thing specifically, but being able to take a time and, and, and a moment to, to just express myself with, with a story of something that, that has happened, you know, and, and, and how I can be creative with it because actually I've had to be creative. I had, I needed a creative mind in order to, to deal with the situation. How to go, how do I go about with my dad? How do I, you know, speak to him? How do I converse with him? But, you know, I tell him what I'm doing, you know, I'm telling him the, the little projects that I got going on and, 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 and what has happened to me in my life. God has happened to, has happened to me in my life. You know what I mean? And and now I thank God because now I'm 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 able to present Christ to him and and speak to him about God. And and I had no idea that I was gonna be that person, or at least I, I didn't know I was gonna, you know, be that quick. You know what I'm saying? So be encouraged today. I hope that, that this message gets across to you. And um, um if it's not for you, guess what? Share it to somebody who you know. Uh, uh, is is missing that that person is missing that father figure in their life, you know what I mean? And and um um and if that person is is not there, you know I'm not saying they're gonna come back into your life tomorrow, but you know pray for them. You know I didn't have a relationship with with my dad, but I was always praying for him. You know I couldn't stop praying for him. I couldn't stop asking God. You know what I mean? Like like working me with what it is that 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 that's that needs to be fixed. You know. Where can you bring clarity on, on certain things? And guess what? You know, it, years and years passed and it was, you know, time. And now was the time and I had to be ready. But um, you have to be ready also. You know, if you want God to do something in your life and you're asking God for, for a change and you're asking God to give you clarity on something, be ready for when he brings you that clarity. Be ready for when he begins to, to to start working in that area that you've been asking God to, to, to work in because it may not come the way you want it to. It may come totally different, but it's going to come. It's going to be a blessing, but be careful that you see it come and you see it as a curse and you see it as something bad because it not necessarily is going to be something bad. It's something that, that's going to that's gonna work in your character. So be blessed today, man. Be blessed and, and I'm excited and, and I'm actually, you know, um, um, I'm happy that I can share something like this with you guys. And, you know, post a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you feel about this. If you're a person, if you're missing your dad or you're missing a person in your life um, that's no longer been there, you know, what, what, what are your thoughts on it? You know what I'm saying? How do you feel? Put a comment there and I'll reply back. You know what I'm saying? I'll give you some some more insight. I'll give you some more detail as to, you know, what I've been doing and, and how I and how I've been able to approach the situation. But um uh, again, like, share, and subscribe to the channel and, and be blessed by it. I hope you are blessed by it. But remember, don't settle with just being good when you have been always been meant to be great. Be creative, be great. That's what this channel is about, man. Later.